Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Whirlpool evaporator motor. It's going to be a very easy repair. It should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new evaporator motor and a wiring harness adapter. The main reason you'd be changing out the evaporator fan motor is if the motor itself shorted out and it's not circulating the cold air from the freezer into the fresh food compartment. For this repair, we have to open up the freezer door. In order to remove the parts, we have to remove the back panel out of the freezer. So whatever type of shelvings you have, you have to remove everything so we can gain access to it. So first thing you have to do is take the ice bucket out, pull it out halfway, tilt it up and pull it out. And then however your shelves come out, you have to lift them off the pegs and take all the shelving. And then we get the lower bins out. You have to pull them out until they stop and then lift them up so they come out. With the racks out, we have to remove the rails that actually hold the drawers on both the left and the right hand side. Make sure you pay attention to which side goes where, so when you put them back in, you can remember where they are. On our particular style, the wide one is on the left, and the narrow one is on the right. So we need to take out all four of these. All these screws are Phillips screws, so use a Phillips screwdriver to take them out. Also, to make it easier to get the back panel out, we can take these mounting clips off. They should just pop off if you push up on the bottom of them. Not all types release like this, so make sure you don't force it and break it. They should just slide up fairly easy. Do this to all four of them. If you have the style that doesn't come out, you may have to just work around it and twist the back cover as you pull it out. Taking all four rails out will make it easier to take out the back panel. Okay, the back panel is held in by six Phillips screws. All we have to do is take them out. Okay, now that we have all the screws out, if you have this type of light cover, we want to go ahead and get out of the way of this panel. It's pretty easy, all you have to do is squeeze it and release the locking tabs. And then just set it out of the way. In order to get the panel out, we have to lift it up so it comes off these two tabs. So just push it up from the bottom a little bit. And then you can lift it out a little bit. You have to get it out from behind this panel right here, and then you can pull it out. Okay, to change out the evaporator fan motor, we have to first take off the three wires. Red's on the inside, white's on the outside, and then you have the ground wire. If it's on there tight, and you have to use a small screwdriver to pry it off, go ahead. All right, this motor's not held in by anything. It's just a bracket. So we can squeeze right here and let it release. Same on the other side, the bracket comes out. Once we have the bracket off, you can take your small screwdriver and pop the fan blade off. And then the motor should just pull right out of the mounting bracket. Here's the old evaporator motor next to the new evaporator motor. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. It also comes with this little adapter wire. In some applications, you may have to use that. In our particular application, we do not have to use it. In order to put the new evaporator motor in, all we have to do is push it up into the housing, making sure that we keep the body straight the same way it was so the wires are in the right place so we can hook them up. And then we can put the lower piece on. Remember, it just goes on to the end of the motor and snaps into place. Next, we have to put the fan blade back on. There's no flat or anything on the shaft, it's just a round shaft. 
So it just presses on and it's held on with pressure. Once you have that pushed on, we can hook the wires back up. Go ahead and hook the ground back up. Then the white wire was on the outside. And the red wire was on the inside. Now that we're done with the repair, we can put the back panel into the freezer. Make sure that you get this lip up underneath here. You may have to push it in with a screwdriver to get it all the way underneath. And then make sure that you get the panel down onto these two locking tabs. Once you have it all lined up, you can replace the six screws with your Phillips head screwdriver. Now that we have the back panel on, we can replace the light cover that we took off. Remember, it just snaps back into place. And now we can put back in all the rails and the shelving. On our models, the thin rails go on the right. Yours may be a little bit different. You just put everything back in the way you took it out. Last thing we have to do before we put the shelves back in is put the shelf supports back on. Remember all they do is slide on from the top. They don't just lock into place. The cups go in the rear and the pegs go in the front. All right, we'll put the baskets back in. All we have to do is push them back into place and they'll slide in. And then for the shelves, make sure that your pegs go in the holes on the left side and then they're supported on the right side. We can slide the ice bin back in, which all you have to do is set it on the rails and slide it into place. Now that you're done repairing your refrigerator, you can plug it back in, make sure that it starts to cool off and that the temperatures return to normal. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by appliancepartspros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.